It's your girl Alex and I'm back again with another YouTube video and this time guys I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm bringing in my hospital bag I am so last minute guys and I literally have to be at the hospital in like 30 minutes but I just thought hey it's the perfect time to show you guys what I'm bringing now I just want you guys to know this is just my recommendations I'm a first-time mom so I've never done this before so I have no idea if I'm leaving anything out or if I'm overpacking but knowing me I overpack for everything if you'd like to see what I'm bringing with me to the hospital then come with me okay guys so the first thing that I want to show you guys is what I'm bringing for me please keep in mind that the hospital has a lot of these things in stock so you really don't have to be extra and bring your own supplies but I'm bringing some of my own just in case I find that it doesn't fit or that it's not comfortable so these are basically just some mommy pads this is so embarrassing but we need this guys okay so I actually only bought two of these these were supplied from water life and I'm gonna do a whole video about water life and how they were so great basically it's this organization that's here in the Outer Banks and they help you along the way through your pregnancy and even after pregnancy and they just kind of show you the ropes for what to expect during labor and delivery and with parenting so I'll do a whole video on that but I got these gems from them I also bought some lotion of course you're going to need your self-care items so like your lotion your shampoo and usually I just use Jergens but because it smells so good I thought why not pamper myself in the hospital. So these are also some pads, like nipple pads, just in case you get a little sore from breastfeeding. And again, I know that the hospital supplies these. I'm just gonna bring them just in case I need them. So now we're getting up close and personal, guys, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm bringing to the hospital, everything okay. We're not judging each other here. Of course you need feminine wash, um, and I'm not sure if that's recommended or not. I am not a doctor and I'm not giving you medical advice, but I know that I am going in tonight. They're really just monitoring me. and so. So I'm gonna bring this just in case you know I just decide to shower and my skincare routine is not even worth sharing because guys pregnancy has got me breaking out but I use Cetaphil and before I was pregnant I was using Cetaphil and it worked wonders for my skin so I'm going to stick with Cetaphil I also pair it with the lotion just because I just find that that's a good combination it keeps my skin nice and moisturized and as you know I'm in the OBX which is obviously near the beach and in the summertime the Sun can make your skin very dry and this has SPF 50 on it I don't know if you guys can see it Probably not, but <laughs> it says it is derma control oil observing moisturizer with sunscreen. So this keeps you covered when you're out in the sun. And then I also just got me a brand new stick up degree. I love this stuff, smells amazing. Love that, I'm probably shouldn't be doing that while I'm pregnant, but <laughs> it smells so good. I would highly recommend getting like travel sizes of this. I totally did not, so I'm obviously bringing like a mini suitcase and probably ever packed but you gotta do what you gotta do so obviously you need to bring all your toiletries so at the hospital they have a toothbrush and toothpaste for you but I bring my own this is just crest and then call me bougie but I have me a little electric toothbrush so I'm bringing that with me and again it would be great if I had many sizes but unfortunately I don't but this is a game changer you want your breath to smell good here you go bada bing bada boom do not walk around with funky breath guys and then of course when you're in the shower you have to have something nice to cleanse your body with I I work at the hospital and I know that sometimes all they give you is non fragrance body stuff come on guys you guys want to feel fresh and so since I know I'm going in the hospital and I know I'm spending the night we gotta stay fresh all right guys believe it or not even though I've kind of overpacked with my toiletries alone I'm trying not to overpack if you are a curly girl you understand that you need a whole plethora of things when you go anywhere to try to refresh your curls. I'm a little upset because I was supposed to have a hair appointment tomorrow, guys, but of course my baby safety comes first. We can't worry about hair. So I'm sticking with the curls because I don't have a choice. Um, so this is just like the refresher for the curls. I'm honestly just gonna bring this and pray and hope for the best. Also, my scalp can get a little dry and if y'all are a curly girl, you understand the main choice has been my go-to since I first went natural. So this is just perfect just for putting it all on your hair. And I wish that I had something smaller to bring, but I'm embarrassed. I gotta bring this. 
like this is this is life this is your life if you're a curly girl it's it's wet line extreme and i hate that it's so big but this is like a staple i use it every day i use it for my edges i'm gonna want my hair out my face and i don't want to look crazy i'm probably going to slick my hair back tonight or tomorrow so i'll be bringing this bad boy with me okay guys and i'm gonna move on to just a few more things that mama is gonna bring for herself y'all i am literally wild for this because i need to be at the hospital in like the next 30 minutes and i'm filming this video but we're not gonna talk about that so i'm just gonna show you what mama got for herself um i'm so into comfort so i bought some pjs this just say let's sleep it's like a really long dress i got it in an extra large just because i have a big bump at the moment and i don't want it to be like a mini skirt we're trying to be comfortable so i just bought this just in case i just thought it was super cute and i just want to be comfortable so this is probably one of my favorites because it's so cute and sleek and classy this is it's like a dress so it's a satin dress and i got this off shein i also got the other pink dress off shein this is just like too cute for me it buttons up in the front but super comfortable guys then this last set that i got my parents got for me off of amazon i'm literally obsessed baby and me get to match in the hospital like i'm so ecstatic about that so mama got a robe and i'm doing such a bad job i would put this on and show you guys but a I don't have time as we talked about i'm in a rush and b i'll probably end up just like leaving pictures along the way and then i also have a headband to match and then little baby has a headband to match her mama and a swaddle now i'm sure i'm going to be looking a mess during labor and delivery i am not really a makeup girly i wear makeup sometimes i might have a day where i just want to take pictures and look really cute with my baby so i brought makeup wipes you need that when you wear makeup and i'm not gonna bring this whole makeup bag I just know i might bring a little bit of makeup so that i can transfer it into this little travel bag now this i got off shein at the end of the day i'm going to make a video about organizing my car and this this will be a staple but i'm gonna use it for my makeup the thing that i recommend bringing is this fan so i just heard that it gets really hot during labor and delivery we don't want that so this is like one that you just charge up and then you're good to and then you're good to go and this can kind of like tie to the side of the bed actually my friend martin got this for me off amazon i love you martin he got this for me off amazon and he got that for me at my baby shower so sweet only like two more things before we move on to what baby is going to get i'm gonna bring some shower shoes and obviously i plan on taking a shower at the hospital because i know i'm gonna be there for over a day so i recommend bringing your own shower shoes another thing that i'm gonna bring instead of bringing slippers i'm just gonna bring my crocs because i don't want to just overdo it and i'm walking in there in crocs so that's the plan for me obviously moms you need your bras you need your underwears which there's no point in showing that that's like an obvious i don't have maternity bras just yet but i'm going to go on shein and hopefully those will get here or my dad will run to target for me and then also you need a take home outfit my outfit is not going to be anything glamorous it's just literally going to be tights and a shirt and just comfy because i live two minutes from the hospital like it's not a fashion show and then the last thing that i recommend bringing are like two washcloths and a towel my skin is super sensitive i use the all natural laundry detergent for that reason i'm going to bring my own towels but do you boo because they have everything that you need at the hospital I'm obviously going to try my best to vlog, so I have my camera. I made sure that the juice is charged and my battery. I'm going to bring my stand and just my camera stuff. I'm just going to bring my computer. I got this off of Shein. I have a wireless mouse. I have this little gym so that I can edit. So this allows me to put the SD card here. And then this is what port is for the wireless mouse. I need your charger which is a long charger for my computer and I'm gonna bring a very long charger for my phone. Okay guys, I'm really running out of time because I literally have to be at the hospital like very soon. But the last things that I'm gonna show you are for baby. I am not overpacking because they have everything at the hospital. So I'm just gonna bring one little um, onesie. I'm only bringing that because you always need a onesie. They do have everything that you need at the hospital but I'm just bringing things just in case. And if she decides to wear that onesie, this is just like a swaddle blanket that I got off of Amazon. It was a gift off of my registry. And then also her matching hat. This is just like stinking adorable and I just can't take it and I had to bring it. So this is just like a burping pad. 
with my little baby burps. I don't want her to get it all on me when she spits up. So I just bought one of these and it's super cute. It says mommy's little cupcake. So accurate. So this is coming with me. So just because I don't know what to expect with the weather, I brought two take home outfits. This is the first little cute take home outfit. So if it's hot outside and it's sunny, uh, this is gonna be appropriate for her. And I'm going to pair that with this cute little hat. But of course, if it's cold, we want baby to feel warm. And so I'm just going to bring this long onesie. So the next thing I have is one little sock for her. This will just match for her outfits. Then I also have mittens because this matches with her outfit and it's cute. The last few things that I have for my little baby girl. We have a swaddle here. So this is just strictly a swaddle. So it's like she's gonna have her clothes on and then this is the swaddle on top. So I just thought I'd bring it just in case. I just heard that it's super comfy for baby and baby loves it so why not bring one? And the very last thing, because I literally have to jet to the hospital. My parents got me this, somebody handmade this and I just think it's adorable. And I showed my mom everything I'm bringing for the baby and she's like, you have to bring this. So I'm giving in. <laughs> So I brought a little blanket and it's very, 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 very cute and snuggly and I know she's gonna love it. And then she has a matching hat to go with it. Now, will she wear all of these things? Probably not. I know that they have everything at the hospital, but this is what you do when you're a first time mom. If you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I literally have to go jet because I have to go to the hospital. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And until next time, I'll see y'all at the hospital. Ooh la 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 la